Okay. Let's go to yeah, room one. Go to room one. Okay. All right. So, not much downtime and ready. Uh, I know Roxana has been standing entire day. Uh, I am really uh, kept a lot of discussion, and I saw that lot of mitral discussion. I'm sure the uh, various pro and con, and that is what those trials will tell us. Uh, all right. You're ready for our case. So we case can see the case, uh, case number. Uh, Whatever. Six. Uh, six and uh, is presentation. IG. Patient, presentation uh, is IG. You want a presentation? Can Where's the clicker? That? Where's the clicker? Yeah. Where's the clicker? The, Where's the clicker? Yeah. Can you give us a sterile clicker? Oh, there you go. You want to do it? Okay, you want me to do it? So this is a 84-year-old male uh, who had presented with a progress. Can we show the slides, please? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Thank you. And re reduce exercise tolerance. Past medical history of a rheumatic heart disease at AVR with 25 per uh, perimount. Um, in 2008, uh, uh, has history of uh, AFib also. Good. I think does work. Stan, you want to show the echo? Yeah. Yes. Can we show the echo, please? This. Yes. Yeah. So. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Show it. Is that the live echo? No. Uh, hello. ACT is good. Hmm? ACT Can you is show good. the live echo then? Oh, okay. It's talk. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for some review, normal RV function, a little bit decreased RV function. As you can see, the patient has also some uh, uh, mitral stenosis with uh, about uh, moderate mitral regurgitation, mild to moderate tracuspid regurgitation with uh, moderate pulmonary hypertension by echo about 45 to 50 millimeters mercury. Uh, normal LV function, deep uh, gastric images. Uh, this is the bioprosthetic valve, as you can appreciate. Thicken leaflets with decreased excursion. And uh, here you get a hint that there is uh, aortic regurgitation. The question is if it's PVL or valvular AI. And uh, if you use uh, the X-plane, you can see that all the aortic regurgitation is very eccentric and in the stent of the valve. So it's a uh, uh, valvular aortic regurgitation. The peak gradient is uh, 32, the mean gradient was eight, 18. Uh, by continuity equation, aortic valvaria is 0.7 cm square. Uh, these are deep gastric images, again, to appreciate the uh, significant uh, valvular regurgitation. As you can see how eccentric it is. Again, again, very comes through the center of the valve and then becomes very eccentric. Pressure cuff time 250. Again, I want to show you how eccentric this jet is, but it's all valvular aortic regurgitation. So combined AES and uh, severe AI on this uh, degenerated bioprosthetic aortic valve. Thank so you. what we saw okay, was severe issue. AI AES. Yeah. We also saw mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis. So no, how no, do we know which is the which is which? Which one is uh, contributing? to this patient's syndrome. It's, I mean, obviously, it looks like you're going to go after the prosthetic valve, but what about the other stuff? Yeah. Yeah, the first... Uh, the, uh, the mitral is the actually femoral, mitral the, valve inflows yeah. uh, of a gradient of nine. So that's not a lot. Yeah, the, the gradient here was five. Uh, okay. Five, and also there is no tracuspid stenosis, uh, mild to moderate TR. Yeah. And then there maybe a tower the now and then TMVR after a few years. <laughs> Yeah, and, Dr. The, Reardon, and the hope is that the MR, us, the MR will get better. Can you tell us about a paramount valve? Is that a, how are the leaflets attached in a paramount they're, valve? They're, they're inside the strut, so they're inside the strut, per, they're a uh, uh, pericardial valve, and they're sutured on there. So are they sutured on there yeah. individually by hand or the whole valve? They're, they're individual leaflets. Most, most surgical valves are all three leaflets. There's a new one coming out called Dura valve, which is actually one piece of pericardium all the way around. Right. And, and, and decrease some of the sewing areas, which may change it. Most of these pericardial valves fail with stenosis, not regurgitation. I'm a little worried that that looked like that regurgitation was a crescent around the edge. It looked more paravalvular to me than valvular. Okay, uh, Anu and uh, the all team uh, with Gilbert and uh, Sahil, just, we need to uh, do this case quickly because everybody waiting for the final. Yeah, going very fast. Yeah, we're doing exchanges yeah, yeah. now. You yes, see us, we, right? Uh, we crossed already, and then we are just going to place the stiff wire, 
And uh, what's the plan, Gilbert? With the yeah, we're uh, gonna go straight with the valve because it's primary AI. We don't need to. This valve is not fracturable. We can remodel it, but because it's AI, it's not really necessary to expand the valve further. We can choose to do that afterwards if we need to, but I don't think so. And, and this is a 29. Uh, once FX. you take care of the aortic stenosis, many of these valve disease, uh, they definitely get better. Whether it's a mitral, air, yeah. tricuspid, all. And clearly the AI Go is a big for a primary pathology in this particular case. Yeah. With an uh, implant view. Yeah, one second. This is a rheumatic mitral, mitral valve. It's going to stay the same. So there's one areo cordal. Yeah, let's do the LAO. LAO crany. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Oh, that's very steep. Huh? That's very steep. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And then you have. Let's do this. Let's see yeah, let's so go we're going to go with the FX, right? Yeah. FX. Yep, directly. Okay. Going with the valve directly without any pre dilatation as a need, clearly degenerated. No, nope, yeah. because it's severe AI. Yeah. It's a lot okay. of floral, AI please. Already. Yeah. Floral. So we're going up. Okay, let's make valve. sure. Yep. We even put Sentinel. Oh, yeah, all valve T valves. up, please. Get a Sentinel. Yeah, T up. Same with the protocol valve. So the key. Valve. Everybody gets the Sentinel if uh, anatomy allows. The patient has a Sentinel. Good. You can see it walks in nice tracks very well with the FX system. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. There's not yep. much parallax on uh, either valve because you want to just eliminate that. Okay, all right. Okay. 150. Pacing 150. 180. Show the hemodynamics also there. Good. Show, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yep. 80. I would go down. The 80. 80. 80. 80. Yeah, it went up. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, so Gilbert, okay. Gilbert, why do you pace 180? You do not need to pace 180 to do this. Yeah. This is an unde unnecessary stress no, so on your patient. 120 is usually enough. So here's the reason why. Look at this. We popped out even with well, one. You, 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 you uh, planted it too high. That's why you popped out. It had nothing to do with yeah. pacing. Yeah. You were at yeah. zero. Oh. That's yeah. true. Push. Okay. No, no. Pull it up. Call it up a little bit. Yeah. Pull it up. Good. And that's learned from the previous case. Very short pacing runs. And not 180. Okay. No. Yeah. One second. No 180. Yeah. No 180 and uh, pull it up. Yeah. Yeah. Gilbert, remember 180 makes you feel dead. 120, 140 makes you feel like you're in love. Being in love is better than being dead. Go yeah. down. Oh, yes, plus uh, let's go. A little deep is yeah. okay also. All right, okay, 120. Do it more slowly. Take, take time. See how dynamic it is with uh, 120. One, 150. 150. Uh, the uh, blood pressure just is wait. 80. Yeah. Okay, now we are good. good. Much better. Yeah. Okay, 80. 80. 80. It's really useful okay. also those on the FX, those okay, let's look. The three little dots. Sure. That, I mean, the pair yeah, so let's, do, let's look at the dots here. Okay, sin, try Sine, please. So you can see the dots are below, right? Yeah. Below the frame, everyone happy? Everybody sees the dots. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, wire back. Okay. Wire back. 150. 150. I thought wire back more, wire back more. Pull the, the yeah, wire yeah, back. Good. Wire back more, wire back more. Wire back more. Assess the blood pressure is too Pull your wire back, guys. So you have to go 150. Yeah, yeah. Wire back, wire yeah. back, wire back. 150, 120. Push the wire. Leave the wire, leave the wire. Push the wire, okay? So you lift, yeah, good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, good. good. Let's okay. go hemodynamics. Hemodynamics. Okay. Yeah, pick there. Yeah, back up. Good. Back up now. Okay. Push the wire, push the wire. Back up, back up. Good. Big tail and we'll give you a hemo. And with the echo, how does uh, things look on the echo? Stan, can you show us the echo? Yeah. These darts are really helpful in yeah. uh, valve and valve cases. Yeah. The yeah, it is interesting. Your anterior leaflet is opening better now without the AI than it was before. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. Good. Okay. So no, no, no PVL. No significant uh, valvular AR. The leaflet, the anterior leaflet, yes, moves much better. Take care of the aortic valve and many of those valves. Clearly, rheumatic may be different. Uh, 
uh, which we know that acutely will not change. It's only the dilated ventricle um, and uh, MR. No, no gradient. I and think it's zero. It's negative zero gradient, Doctor Sharma. Yeah. yeah. You see? See the look, look at the difference between end diastole and LVEDP. Zero. It's really zero. gone up. I mean, it looks so much better. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You want, no gradient. You want a aerogram? No. No. Okay. The question is, an 80-something-year-old okay, guy, where well, you can really do anything with the aerogram and hemodynamics that look that good? Probably not. Yes. Maybe Maybe a 70 year old. Yeah, yeah. I agree. We won't do an aerogram. Uh, echo looks good. So if I think everything agree, we conclude that. Yeah, no PVL, right? No, no PVL, no PVL. No PVL. No okay. PVL. Look at your, your, your LV. Let me measure the velocity here. EDP is flat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the only reason why I would have contrast if I was in doubt about the coronaries, but I don't think this is the case. Yeah. No, not at all. Okay. Big, big gradient, big yeah. gradient 13. Yeah, TE up, please. Minimal PVL. Yeah, we didn't show you the CT, but there was no issue with coronary. TE up, please. <laughs> TE up. TE up, please. TE up, please. We want to show the commissure alignment and yeah. also TE up further, please. Great. OK, good. You can see that the C tab is in the middle and the, uh, the, on the inner curve of the uh, surgical, uh, relative surgical valve, good so you know that it's good, good commissure alignment. And you can see that here on the aerial floral. See? Perfect. Okay. See? And you can see the dot. Okay. All right. I think we can wrap up here. Okay. See? Fantastic case. Yeah. All right. All live cases done.